I'm Lee Pacquia, and these are your Bloomberg Law headlines for the week. First up, big changes may be in store for Google. The tech giant was given an ultimatum by FTC Chairman Jonathan Leibowitz to settle its pending antitrust probe in the coming days or face a lawsuit, sources tell Bloomberg News. The agency has been investigating Google for almost two years for favoring its own services and search results, providing exclusive search services to online publishers, and a whole host of other issues. If it chooses to file a complaint, the FTC can do so in either its own administrative court or in the federal court system. Next, voters in Colorado and Washington legalized marijuana for recreational use last week, but the federal government still bans the substance. So what to do? State AGs from Washington and Colorado are meeting with U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder's office to see if the federal government plans to sue to block the measures from coming into effect. According to Washington State Governor Chris Gagori, the federal government is not quite sure on how they will proceed. So, does the federal law trump the state law when it comes to weed? We wouldn't be surprised to see this issue eventually end up in court. Finally, more big firms are feeling the urge to merge. On Wednesday, the UK's Norton Rose announced it is merging with US firm Fulbright and Jaworski, creating a 3,800 attorney firm with 55 offices worldwide. It's not the first time Fulbright has considered merging. Earlier this year, it was reportedly in talks with Pillsbury Winthrop, and it's the second major cross-border merger announced in as many weeks. Last week, of course, SNR Denton announced a three-way merger with Canadian and European firms, creating a 2,500 lawyer conglomeration. So that brings us to question time. Who's next? Which U.S. firm might be next to merge with a foreign firm? Tell us what you think in the comments. That's what we have for this week. I'm Lee Pacquia. Thank you for watching, and see you next week.